Yes, Darren Craddock there. Now, uh, we haven't got Harry Dunn, but we have got uh, another very worthy challenger uh, for Darren's crown of five points at the moment, which he holds. It's uh, another member of the dressing room. Yes, it's Jimmy Beadle. Hello, Jimmy. I go, sorry. Yeah, I'm good, mate. Nice to have you with us. Jim, you, you were the first uh, man to put your name on the dotted line for Whitby Town. Uh, to show us how loyal you are to the club. Yeah, blank contracts. Didn't care. It wasn't a problem, really. Brilliant stuff. Uh, of course, uh, a great season last year, Jim. Uh, top scorer from midfield. Top scorer, third best player in the league. There okay. you go. Not not just your words, the words of uh, of the Evo Stick League. Yeah, there you yeah. go. Excellent stuff. Uh, let's hope we have uh, another season just as good, 2010 to 11. All so, into better it goes. Oh, absolutely, mate. Um, right, well, are you able to uh, to take on the town teaser, Jimmy? Are you ready? No problem. Six is my aim. Question number one. Who played every game in goal in Manchester City's 1995-96 to 96 relegation season? I'm thinking... Is it Hitchcock? Oh, Kevin Hitchcock? Yeah. It's not, Jimmy. It's not. It's, it's one that Darren struggled with as well. It's not a household name. It's Ike Immel. I would have never got that in a million years. <laughs> I think that was the exact Craddock response as well. Yes, I came on. Not, not the most well-known player, the German goalkeeper there. Okay, Jim, we'll try this one now. In which decade did Cardiff City win the FA Cup? Oh, it could be anything. Oh, this, could, this is just a guess. I'm going to go uh, somewhere around war. Maybe 19... 1920s. 1920s? Absolutely spot on, Jimmy. If that was a guess, that's a very, very good one. Of course it's a guess, Goose. <laughs> OK, we'll go on to number three. Uh, Eddie Large, uh, one half of Little and Large, was a trainee at which football club? I'm going to go... Everton. Everton. Well, you're in the right sort of geographical area, certainly northwest. It was Manchester City. Number four, Brian Robson was at which league club when he made his England debut? Oh, then. I'm trying to think where he's played. Oh, he was at Nottingham Forest, one, I think. I've got to be honest, I'm thinking I'm going along that lines. Maybe West Brom. Uh, he was managing there, wasn't he? So I I'll go West Brom. You're going to go West Brom? Yeah. Absolutely correct. West yeah. Bromwich Albion. Excellent stuff, yes. Uh, two out of four so far, Jimmy. Not bad. Hey, are you looking for a great venue to hold a birthday, christening or anniversary party? Well, look no further. Whitby Town FC's clubhouse could be just what you need. And it could be free of charge. And there's plenty of car parking as well. So for more information, contact our chairman, Graham Manser. You'll be really glad you did. And uh, number five. Who was the regular goalkeeper for Norwich City in their 1994-95 relegation season? Springs to mind Neville Southall, but I don't know why. What was I think? Um, I can't even think who else has played there. Oh, he was there as well, wasn't he? That, was it Forest Keeper, that Andy Marshall? He was there as well. I'll go Andy Marshall, Goose, I think. Well, I'm surprised you didn't get this one, Jimmy, but he's quite well known. Brian Gunn. Oh. Yes, uh, started, a, started last season, Norwich City manager, didn't last very long, but uh, he was very much uh, better as a player. Regular goalkeeper for Norwich City in their 94-95 relegation season, Brian Gunn. we we'll move on to question six. San Marino hit a goal in nine seconds in 1993, but against which team? England. Pass back from Pierce. Absolutely correct. Yes, it was indeed England, and uh, we know what happened there. Not qualifying for World Cup 94, yes, uh, awful stuff. Ended 7-1 to England, but uh, pretty irrelevant in the end. So there you go, you move on to three, Jimmy. Number seven, who moved from Chelsea to Tottenham Hotspur for £2.2 million in 1991 to set a club record for a transfer fee received? One thing is that... Uh it was always on Sky Sports News, is it? Cundy, Jason Cundy, I'm thinking. Possibly, I think he went Chelsea to Tottenham. I think you're in the correct era. Oh, it's not Cundy, then, I'm guessing, from your little clue there, Goose. <laughs> I could give you no more clues, Jimmy. Oh, I don't know, I'm going to go... I'm going to stick with Cundy, I'm going to guess with him. This was one that uh, your teammate Darren Craddock got right. It was Gordon Jury. You can still beat Darren's score, though. Three questions left. Number eight. Wanted to get all three of these? 
You need to get all three of these, Jimmy. Which club was once known as Abbey United? Ah, oh, that'll be Cambridge. That's Cambridge United, quite correct, of course. The Abbey Stadium, yes, that's four points for you, Jimmy. Yeah. One to equal, two to go ahead. Number nine, Peter Davenport and Gary Pallister were in the same team at which club? Uh, see, Pallister's always man new, but I, he had a stint at Middlesbrough as well, didn't he? Hmm. Davenport, I think Davenport was... I think, but I can't think of Palace of anywhere else apart from Middlesbrough. I'll go Middlesbrough Goose, I think. You're saying Middlesbrough? Yeah. Absolutely spot on, yes, it's Middlesbrough. So that takes you on to five points, Jimmy. Level with Darren Craddock, yeah. Number ten. Which Mel became boss of Manchester City in 1987? Now, this is a tough one, and this is one that, uh, that Darren didn't get either. Uh, I'm thinking... I'm thinking he's some. I'm trying to think of a Mel. I know there was a Mel. Is it Yalchin? And there was a Mel Mackin. This is where I need more time off work so I can sit home watching Premier League years. <laughs> I like that as well. Definitely spot on. Midnight is my favourite. Yeah. Yeah. I'm gonna go. I'm gonna go Mel Mackin. I don't know why, but he's the only one that springs to mind. That was a Man City. So. Whippy Town's Cash Bonanza is just a pound a week and you could win the top prize of £500 or one of the other great cash prizes. All the money taken goes back into supporting Whippy Town Football Club. So please contact George or Maureen in the club shop for more details. Money, money, money. Must be funny. In the Jimmy. Yeah, absolutely correct. It was indeed yeah. Mel making himself. That is correct. Six out of ten for you, Jim. You go to the top of the leaderboard at this very early stage. I think I'll struggle to get beat six because they're hard. <laughs> indeed, yeah. So, uh, so that was a, that was a very good effort. It was a tough quiz this week. I quite agree with you. So there you go. You know what it is Darren uh, Crabs comes to training earlier. Yeah. And he said um, he said oh sat down. He went. He said about the podcast. And he said, you got asked that 95, 96 question, and he wouldn't tell me the answer. Mm. I he, was saying, I thought it was uh, Nicky Weaver. It was clever of him to do that, you see. He just had this yeah. sixth sense that you might be the challenger. Yeah. Uh, have you been keeping an eye on the uh, on the newcomers to the Evo Stick League? Uh, FC Halifax, probably being the biggest club. Yeah, I was, I'm, I'll be honest, I was a bit disappointed with draw. Although it would be a nice tie to go to, and it's winnable. We, we could have, like, if you look at the draw... It's a tough one, isn't it? Yeah, yeah, and Hensford as well in the trophy. We could have been given a bit of easy ones, you know, just maybe the first round at least, you know. I think, I mean, the club, I think they budget around going through at least one round in each in each cup, like, so it's a bit of a kick in the teeth. But obviously they're winnable, so we're going to go there and think we can win. But, yeah, I've looked at the newcomers. I think we've got Michelover Sports first game, haven't we? So, That's right, yeah. Home down the Turnbull ground, Michelover Sports from from the Derby area. Yeah, I mean, they're always interesting, aren't they? Games like that, you know, you don't, you, the thing is you just don't know what to expect. So there's normally a few new faces in each team. Hmm. But like you recognise most of the players like them. Obviously, we don't know we don't know anything about them. Michelover Sports, FC Halifax. I mean, I know they'll be decent. FC Halifax are up there. With, they're the favourites, are they? I think. I think they might even be favourites. FC Halifax. Yeah, the odds. The odds that I've seen, and this is from Skybet, um, four to one on Halifax. We're out at twenty five. I have seen that goat, and I think. I don't think that's. Honest, I don't think that's bad odds at all. No, if, I think if I was allowed to bet on our own league, I think I'd be putting a bit of money on that group, so I'll be honest. Absolutely, yeah, and I, I know plenty of supporters are interested in that. I, I, I've got to say that there's there's some there's some funny odds that I've seen. You know, I don't think the betting companies really know what they're doing with non-league. They want not anything about with me, who we've signed, who's training, they won't have a clue. No, absolutely, I mean? absolutely. I, I'm confident, based on the fact that we've got eight, eight of the best players from last season, mixed with maybe four or five good signings, and... Depending on luck with um, injuries and suspensions, if we can get majority of the starting eleven out most weeks, which I know it's hard to do, but I think I think we've got every chance, girls. I'll be honest. Uh, that's good to hear, Jimmy. Um, um, do you have any personal targets for yourself in the coming season? I don't know. I, I like to play in all the games. I like to play in every game. I always say that, and you know, trying to win not get a suspension this year, mm. and obviously try and beat last year. So probably sixteen goals, really. It's, it's hard for midfield, but especially since we've got three. At the moment, it looks like we've got three quality strikers in. I don't know how it'll work. Maybe they'll score more goals or maybe they'll team all for me or whatever. But as long as the team's doing well, it doesn't really affect me, to be honest. Okay, Jim. Well, thank you very much for talking to us. No problem. 107 Spark FM.